How's it going? What's up guys? Freaking the video. So on the way to the shop today, kind of lost my brakes. Don't know why. Thought maybe, uh, maybe like the boost did it or something like that. I don't know. But then again, I'm actually putting miles on the car now. So, you know, things tend to pop up and uh, the car is a 92. So I'm sure there's something going on. My brake fluid is low, so it's not like I blew my booster or anything. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it could be, but what I can do is grab some of this brake fluid that I still have, and I still have enough to bleed the entire system, which is good. And I'm gonna put some in, pump the brakes, and uh, see where the leak is, and hopefully find it. So yeah, today's a pretty pretty warm day, so should be a good day for it. I'm gonna Pull the car into gear and uh, see what we can freaking find out. All right, I didn't bring it in because there's more room outside. So it's leaking from there, definitely, because as you can see, dry, dry. So I'm assuming it's the joint right there. Now I've never, believe it or not, you know, boys ain't no professional brake boys out here as I disclosed earlier. I've never even taken one of these things off. So that's kind of weird. Um, I'm going to try and tighten this and see if it's loose or something because, I mean, it moves a little bit. Is it supposed to? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's take that off and see what's good. I don't think it's the line. The line looks normal, but I'm, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's this because all of this is all friggin' dookie. Now, if it was down here in the line... I'm assuming it would be only down there and this would still be dry. So as you can see, I mean, it, it, it looks fairly normal, I think. Maybe just try to put this thing back in and uh, see how it does. Yeah, I tried using this little bleeder thing, but it's just this one that uh, kind of just plugs into here and uh, kind of popped off a little bit. Got, I got some of it in there though, so that's good. And I have brakes again, so that's also good. Well, while I'm here, you know, just tighten the wheel, but whatever. I gotta drain my oil, because I'm pretty overdue for that, seeing as braking oil uh, is supposed to be very... Oh, by the way, this, this bolt fell out. Need to, uh, need to put a new one in there. I ordered a uh, oil pressure sensor, so that would have been really annoying if I changed my oil and didn't change this, so... Good thing I remembered that. One that was in it, gold one's the one that I ordered. That's definitely not one eighth NPT, so thanks, thank you Amazon, thank you, thank you for that. Not even close. Uh, okay, so off camera, um, I thought maybe my O2 sensor was going bad, like my wideband, because it was reading weird. Uh, like the tune didn't change itself, nothing weird happened, but it was reading lean sometimes, and like it would just randomly do it, and I figured out that. This bolt, this bolt, that bolt, and that bolt. That bolt was gone, the one down there. Uh, yeah. So those came loose somehow. Let me plug my alternator back in before I completely melt the friggin' wire. And yeah, so, uh, maybe that solved that. But my main issue is still the brakes. So I'm gonna go drive this thing and uh, see how it does. Alrighty. Let's see how we're freaking doing, guys. Oil light on the dash is on. Start the car. And it's off, so we have oil pressure. But my sensor still don't work, so that's cool. But my wideband's working, so that's good. All right, sick. So this is not reading lean anymore. Dope. I believe I have fixed that problem. And my brake problem, because I have brakes, so... That was really weird, but it's fixed. So now I have two working gauges. Yesterday was pretty much just this. <laughs> By the way, I, it, it spikes up to like, you know, 12 sometimes. I gotta get that three bar map in. Maybe I'll try to do that when I get back. Okay, so 
I am going to check things in the engine bay. Nice. Got that thing nice and centered. I don't know why it was all weird before. Whoops. I uh, seem to have not put the dipstick in all the way. I forgot about that. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, at least it's just oil over here, but I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Maybe I have like a, a leak somewhere and it's just making it read lean. I, I think it's, I think it might just be freaking like there's a little bit of a leak in the downpipe until I put the new turbo on. Yeah. Or the sensor is bad because of the pops and bangs. In which case, I'll make the pops and bangs much more uh, mild, more of a gurgle. That's what I was going for. I just got the big pops and bangs. That's split as frick, bruh. How's the other one doing? Oh, that one looks like, feels like shit, too. Alright, check out the setup. Found myself a nice little vacuum line. Boom. Loop the bitch. Should be good now. Forgot about this. I keep forgetting to do this. I'm just opening this so I can get you, good, get you guys a good shot of this. So, as you guys know, I have the clear corner JDM replica headlights. I got the real ones up there, but those are staying up there. I ain't trying to fuck those up. Um, these are still rare because they don't make them anymore and they have them for like five years. But I have the amber bottom jammies. But if you come over here, I forgot about this. So I ordered the clear, or I know these are LEDs, but they're amber LEDs. And also, I should point out that in here I have amber LEDs, and you can tell the difference between like this and this. So, well, there you go. Alright, so I ordered. I ordered these just to replace like some like like the license plate bulbs and they sent me two I didn't pay for two but you know shout out to China or whoever the hell made these friggin things they were like I think they were like three bucks per pack and I think there's ten in the pack yeah there's ten in each pack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deck my car out so interior lights um, license plate lights reverse lights Interior, license plate, reverse. I'm gonna put my new clear jammies in the front. Nice new crispy clear ones. Sweet. There we go, isn't that a lot freaking cleaner than the other side? Check this out. So clear, stock amber. That being said, if anyone wants to uh, purchase these mint amber jammies, I will sell them, if you're looking for those. Alright, let's check this out with the lights on. We gotta zoom in, there we go. Dope. Boom. Much better. So clean. Love that friggin' look. And there's a the difference. Obviously, the left side being the LED and the right side being the stock bulb. Alright, sweet. So that looks better. I could not do the reverse lights. They were the wrong bulbs as well as the interior light. Not tight. But I'm more than happy with this front end because this shit looks freaking dope now. Yeah. Yeah, that cleaned up the front end quite a bit. Alright, well, like I said, I did get rid of some boost leaks and I tightened my wastegate thingy so I'm gonna go drive it again and see if uh, the freaking AFRs are in check so yeah see you guys there I told you guys my AFRs are mint Boost is being good too. No more 15 PSI. Alright, watch the boost versus the uh, AFR. It's good, right? Now, the only thing that I don't like is it's not as fast because it doesn't have as much boost, and I kind of tuned it for. Um, 
for the PSI it was getting. So I'm gonna go put my 10 PSI spring in this and uh, ditch this 8 PSI spring because the uh, the stock the stock map sensor will read the 10 PSI. So you know I should be in the clear there. Right. So with these eBay waste gates, what you do? I already took the uh, top jammy off of it, but. Basically, this here is the 8-pound spring that I think comes inside of it. So when, you, when you're when you doing your wastegate things and you're being all boosty boy and all that good shit, you could put this one in, and what I, what I used to have was this black one like this, right? And the little helper spring underneath it, which basically, when it gets the boost pressure, because there's a spring on the bottom of that diaphragm, it helps it push it up. So that's a six PSI spring. So that is an eight PSI spring. And this is plus two pounds. And that goes like that. And then you just, that's still hot. You just put that back on it. That's really it. And we're back. Let's go see if this feels more like how I wanted it to. Creep on it in third, see what the boost does. Yeah, I heard VTEC that time, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it feels a lot better. Right, I'm gonna try to get a little, like, first and second jammy. Uh, I don't know how easy it's gonna be because um, I have to, like, hold the wheel in the camera. Yeah, I think I can do that. No cops. That felt good! Hell yeah, boy! I'm hyped. We're hitting limiter, so that means uh, we're not exceeding the map. So we're not pulling any friggin' time in that top, at the top, which uh, that last pull that I did, that Cali filmed, I think that's why it didn't hit limiter. But now we're hitting limiter because we're only at 10 PSI. Fucking dope. Oh, man. Nice freaking, nice freaking LED license plate light so the cops can see me. She runs freaking beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. Fix my brakes. Nice oil change. Fresh oil in it. No more braking oil. Listen to this thing purr. Do you know pop the hood? Just listen to this. Listen to this freaking butte. Let me freaking tell you, bud. Listen to this. That's a healthy freaking H22 right there. She makes pops and bangs. She makes fireballs out the hood now because it's not pulling timing. Because I'm not at, you know, past the map load. We're mint. Go ahead and shut her off. Give her a freaking break. Oh man. You know, I didn't think today was going to be super eventful, but um, I fixed one thing on my car that, you know, could have been detrimental to both me and my car. So that's cool. I'm also really happy with these, uh, these friggin' the clears to match. Oh man. Sweet. Sucks that I couldn't get my oil pressure thing working because fucking Amazon, man literally says one eighth NPT on the freaking thing. So I'll probably just end up getting a mechanical gauge because you know, I just wanted to, because I like that gauge and it's already in my car, I wanted to just say fuck it and get a new sensor for it. But the new sensor didn't fit my uh, sandwich plate so I couldn't do that. So I'm gonna look for a mechanical gauge because I know they're super cheap. I'm not really worried about it. It's gonna be like 20 bucks, but I just, I want it to at least like look like the one that I have now. Like I like that blue and I like the digital like numbers. I don't like the freaking back and forth jammy needle. But yeah, uh, Don's coming through in a little bit. I'm going to freaking edit this video. Guys, let me tell you, if you couldn't tell in that last clip, I hope it wasn't too shaky. I guess I'll see when I edit, but dude, that thing is super happy at 10 PSI. Like, it just get it, it gets on the boost and it just freaking goes. So like once I get this three bar map in the car, 
and I get to the dyno. Once I get to the dyno, I want to put it at 15 because I have the injector for I have plenty of injector and fuel pump for it. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go edit. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for more prelude shenanigans because it's going to get it's going to get good. The getting's just getting going right now, boys. I tell you what. And she faster than shit. Maybe I'll race Ronnie. Me, me versus Ronnie Subi. Because his Subi is tuned on like 14 PSI. And mine's on 10 PSI. Obviously tuned because it has to be. Because it doesn't come stock turboed. But I think that'd be a cool race. See if he's into it. I don't know if he's, re I don't know if he's really trying to beat on it too much. Because I think he said that. Because uh, I think he said that. It starts spark knocking like up in the RPMs or something, but I don't know. Maybe let me let me know if you guys want to see that. Maybe we, me and Ronnie can go to an uh, undisclosed location in Mexico somewhere and uh, run them for pinks, bruh. Nah, nah, no way. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Get hyper prelude shit. Freaking like the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.